Hey everybody, this is Everyday Commentary. I'm going to do a little video on uh, my everyday carry. And so uh, I'm going to show you what I usually carry every day. And there are some variations, and I'll talk about those. Uh, so the first thing that I carry every day is this. It's an iPhone. It's an iPhone 4. It's in an Incipio feather case. I really like the iPhone. It's nice and simple. I do have a Zag screen protector, which has uh, really obnoxious uh, demo videos and um, some like ridiculous claims on the package. But it is really nice. It works quite well. Um, it never bubbles up, which was my big problem with other screen protectors, and the bubbles drove me crazy. And this one doesn't do that, so I like it a lot. So that's the first thing. The second thing is I always carry with me a wallet. And right now I am testing the Bellroy Note Sleeve, which is a wallet that um, is designed to be thin, but not super thin. It has a little bit of stuff, but not a ton of stuff and um, it has a nice little tab here, it has a couple of pockets, and then it has um, a pocket for your bills. There's a little flap in the back, and you drop some change in there, and this is really awesome. There is a little pocket here for some kind of SD card. So that's the wallet I'm testing right now. Normally I use a big skinny wallet, which is significantly thinner, but doesn't quite have as many features uh, or uh, storage options as the Bellray Note Sleeve. Um, the next thing is I have a titanium uh, citizen watch with an echo drive. I don't really know a whole lot about watches. My wife gave me this watch 15 years ago, 14 years ago uh, for Christmas and it has never lost time to any significant degree and it has never not worked so I'm not going to change it until it doesn't work anymore. Um, the next thing up I have my keychain and I have on the keychain a Number one half, uh, Night Eyes S Spinner, made out of stainless steel. This is my card key. And then here is the um, prototype for the, the blade key. This is a, um, a 3D printed version of the aluminum. These are not actually for sale. It's not actually a product he would sell. Um, they're durable, but they're not anywhere near as durable as the aluminum version. This one was just uh, mocked up so that I could destroy it and see how well it lasted. And as you can see, it has some wear and tear on it, but it is still working okay. And as soon as this goes, I will um, probably get uh, the aluminum version because the blade key is awesome. Uh, there's a review of the blade key on my website, and I'll post a link to all the reviews. Um, this is a particularly nice blade key because it has three keys, and I need three keys plus my uh, key fob key. Uh, by the way, one thing that I would note is that I really hate when uh, car manufacturers give you keys that have the remote buttons, but that they are on their own separate thing. There's no reason to do that. This is the way every car key should be designed. Um, and I don't think that's, I mean, it, obviously it's my opinion, but you need to have some pretty compelling reasons why not to make that the case. And there aren't any, so it's not an opinion. Um, this is the Mushan Aeon Mark II. It is a single CR2 flashlight. It has a low of um, probably about four or five lumens. It has a medium of uh, about 30 lumens. And then it has a high of 110 lumens. It uses a Nichia 219 emitter, which is a high Cree emitter. It has a uh, color rendering index of 93. The sun has a color rendering index of 100. It produces beautiful light, it runs for a very long time, and um, as you can see it has a three stage twisty, one, two, three. And so you can operate this with one hand, and you can tell somebody how to operate it by saying if you want light, turn it to the right, if you want more light, keep turning, and that's it, that's all you have to do, it's pretty simple, it's, uh, or turn it to the left. It's a really great little light, I love this light, um, Enrique produced a run of 75 after I shamelessly begged him to do so. Um, the next up is I usually carry a pocket knife, and today I am carrying a Steve Carroll Everyday Modified Warncliffe. This is a titanium frame lock made by a local knife maker named Steve Carroll. It runs uh, a modified Warncliffe blade, you can see there, and you can see on the other side that it has a mark for uh, S35 VN steel. Um, this is my third knife with S35V in steel, and I have to say that I really, really like the steel. It's not as hard as the ZDP-189, but it lasts quite a long time. Um, I'll also show you that uh, you can pop this knife 
open pretty fast. The, the pivot's really nice and smooth, and the position of the thumb studs and the size of the thumb studs makes it possible for you to open the knife pretty easy. And actually, I screwed that one up because I'm reaching around the camera. But this is the uh, this is the the custom knife that I carry, and I really do like this knife. It's a it's a great size knife. I mean, you can see that it's uh, it fits pretty nicely in my hand. And, you know, like that the Aon is about the size of a double A. So um, the blade is under three inches long, which I like. The shape is really super nice. The lockup is pretty darn good. I mean, you can see there that it's in there. Um, the, the blade steel on this knife is, is simply massive. I mean, there's that. And then let me get my beater knife in my workshop, which is a Buck Odyssey that I found uh, outside. <laughs> so the Buck Odyssey has a pretty thick blade, uh, blade steel, but nothing, nothing like the Everyday Modified more I mean, that's just a massive slab of steel. So uh, that's the knife that I carry today. And I almost always carry both a flashlight and a knife. If I'm not carrying a knife, I'm almost always carrying a small pocket tool, but definitely a flashlight and definitely a knife or pocket tool of some kind. Sometimes I don't have the flashlight uh, or the watch, and sometimes I don't have the wallet, but I'm almost always gonna have my cell phone, my flashlight, and my knife or multi-tool. Next thing I carry always, because I am a lawyer by trade, is a pen and this is the um, ultimate uh, clicky by Tough Rider. It's a it's a listen. It's a virtually silent clicky. Not that that means anything. I don't really care if it made noise, but it's just a great little pen. It's super durable, stainless steel um, tip and knock, and pocket clip and uh, body of aluminum. And as you can see, um, the aluminum was frosted. It was a sort of a bead blasted aluminum and as I've used it extensively since I got it on my birthday, which was December 5th, it started to smooth out a little bit and it's almost becoming like a stone washed finish. It's really awesome. I actually, I have never had an item that has worn in as cool as this item has. Maybe the Sabenza, but you know, we all know and love the look of a worn Sabenza. The final thing that I carry almost every day, or the second to the last thing I carry every day, is I do carry a, a paper calendar. And the reason I carry a paper calendar in addition to the um, digital calendar is because for whatever reason, I remember things better if I actually write them down with pen. And because as a lawyer, oftentimes judges will ask me to bust out my calendar. Get, get out your calendar, counsel. And um, when I bring out my phone, they don't think I really have a calendar. Um, well, not all of them. Some of them know that they're digital calendars, but if I bring out this book, everybody knows that this is my calendar. Um, it's a Moleskine. I did have a different brand, and I forget the brand, uh, but I uh, lost it in my house somewhere, so, oh well. The Moleskine's okay. I got a hardbound one because it was thinner. It, you know, The paper is not great. The paper's not terrible. It just sort of is what it is. I, I'm not thrilled about it. I'd love to have a different calendar but you know the one thing I do like with the calendar is I like it to have um, days on uh, both sides of the page not days on one side and notes on the other like the Rodia otherwise we get the Rodia because the Rodia has better paper but I want it to have a lot of space to write because I go you know go to three or four courts a day and so I need to have three or four spaces per day and if they're all on one page I don't and then I have to write them over the notes and then it looks messy and why would I want it to look messy? I mean, I'm buying this to make it look neat. So that's uh, that's my pocket calendar. And then finally, the thing that I think that, I don't know if a lot of people consider everyday carry, but this is my water bottle. It is a Camelback plastic insulated bottle. I know that they make metal insulated bottles, but the denting on the metal insulated bottles drives me crazy. And while this uh, doesn't keep things as cool, it's better than an uninsulated bottle. So it's sort of, in between insulated and metal insulated. And then the cap is the Human Gear Cap Cap, which is unquestionably the best bottle cap on the market. I mean, I've tested for my own benefit probably 10, 10 different setups, and this is the best I've seen so far. Though I do have an idea, which is to take a metal insulated bottle and have it coated in Linex, which would give it some dent resistance. But the reason I consider this everyday carry is because I drink a lot of water. Um, I recently lost quite a bit of weight 
and um, that is in part from eliminating soda and tea from my diet and drinking basically only water and it has been really really great you know if the soda is expensive it's not good for you and water is good for you so um, making this part of my everyday carry was an easy way to um, make interesting something that was boring namely drinking water and I don't know if I'm ever going to do a review of a bottle, but I, I could see that happening in the future. So that's my uh, everyday carry as it is right now. Always a flashlight, always a pocket knife, usually my iPhone, usually my watch and wallet, and then at, at work, keys, the calendar, the pen, and then a water bottle whenever I am out and about, or if I'm around the house doing work, or anywhere that I would drink, which is anywhere. So, usually try to drink like uh, four, four or five of these each day. That's a lot of water, but it's delicious. There you go.